What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Hildes from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know where to find me at. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of this disorder as well. Um, so today's episode is going to be about staying friends with a your narcissistic ex should you stay friends with your narcissistic ex your narcissistic ex-boyfriend girlfriend husband wife whatever so my recommendation i'm gonna just say it typically people will say it, it depends i don't i just don't think you should remain friends with somebody if you already have dealt with a real narcissistic person that has treated you just awfully that has manipulated manipulated you lied to you stole from you sometimes gaslight gaslit you use you, mentally abuse you, physically abuse you, whatever. I don't think you should remain, remain friends with that person. I just don't. Like, I don't see the the value in that type of friendship. Even if you are friends with it, or even if it's the even if it's a a friendship in the first place. I don't think like I, I don't know. Friendship does have its benefits with a narcissist depending on who that narcissistic person is and their status and whatnot, I guess. Um and sometimes you know narcissists have hero complexes, so sometimes they'll always be there for you. <laughs> they'll always they'll do stuff for you just to say that they did something for you so you owe them later on but friends with an ex yikes i just don't i just don't think so because like me as a i'm you know i'm a diagnosed narcissist so me as a narcissist i just you know see i just don't think you should be friends i i, would, I wouldn't want friends to be with me because be, 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 i would still so i'm still friends with quite a few exes i think yeah i am except for one there's one I'm, i wouldn't say we're friends but most of them we're friends with. I'm still friends with. Because, like, nar narcissists, the people, this is not me right now, y'all. But narcissists, in general, like to have, keep exes as friends because they view them as backups. And I call it the path of least resistance. Re least resistance friendship. The path of, of a least resistant relationship. And, yes, the path of a least resistance is a scientific term, y'all. It's like water flows downhill because it's easier than going uphill. <laughs> Gravity. You know what I mean? Um... Water will go around the rock as opposed to trying to go through it. But it, it will make a hole through the rock eventually. But yeah, they keep exes as friends because they see you as backup plans. Like you know what, the relationship didn't work because we both made mistakes. Even though they treated you terribly, we both made mistakes. Uh, we both, you know, we fell out of love. We both disconnected from each other. We both did this. We both did that. So I feel like we can be amicable and be friends and things like that. Just not just just be friends. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it's friends with benefits. Sometimes it's friends with not no benefits. Just friends. The sometimes it's friends with benefits regardless. And benefit doesn't have to be you know you know it's sexual. The benefit could be uh, the, the benefit could be using you for money. The benefit could be using you for time or babysitting and things like that. Using you as a for an ear to cry on. Now imagine your narcissistic ex that you've been together with for five years still wants to be friends with you. Three months like you wanted you wanted to get married. You want to have kids with the person. You want to buy a house with the person. So six months after y'all break up, y'all still friends. They engaged to be married, got a baby on the way, and under, con under contract to buy a house. All within six months with meeting somebody else. You got to hear about that every single day. Dang, I think I'm gl so glad you're still my friend. Ah, oh, good time. I'm so blessed right now. So blessed we broke up, but we're still friends, right? Ah, oh, my ex is, you know, she's, she's, you know, she, you know, the cheeks, the, 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 the round of applause with her is a little bit louder than it is with you. You know, so it's like, but we're still friends, though, right? We can talk about this, right? You want to be friends with that? Why? I mean, I, I, I get I get it sometimes, like, faking it. Sometimes you have to, I guess sometimes you have to fake being friends with people like that because some people like that are dangerous, y'all. They want to be friends with you because they think that you still belong to them. They're, like, they're, all, they're awful. They're, they will offer friendship up to you because the, the friendship allows them to remain in your life some way, shape, or form. You can't completely cut them out there, friends. Like, hey, look, I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. Just, let's just be friends. And they'll try to be a best guy friend or your best girlfriend or whatever and do whatever it takes to, you know, they might try to stop you from getting in relationships. They might try to harm you from getting, you know, they might try to downplay everybody else. I just don't think you should be friends with a narcissist. narcissist ex. I just don't see the benefit in doing it. I, I guess I see the one benefit of safety. I guess if you have to fake it until you make it, um, you may, unless you, you don't want to get a restraining order on the person because they might, you know, they might pop up at your house or something like that. It's hard to go from lovers to friends, y'all. It just is. <sighs> All right, tired y'all. Been a long day. I gotta go. You know, do some stuff here in a few minutes. 
Um, but yeah, the, I would not remain friends with a narcissist. It just, it just doesn't give you the benefit. Cause like the narcissist, there's a benefit. There's always gonna be a benefit to having you as a friend. They either want to go back to you. They want to use you for money. They want to use you for sex. They want to use use abusing. They want to use you as a. They still want to use you as an emotional punching bag. They don't want to be friends. We still get this, the benefit of being your. You know, they want to be boyfriend girlfriend without the title. So they just call you their friend. You know, still y'all still be y'all still be doing it. But you can't say anything about who else they're doing it with because they might be doing it with somebody else, but they won't allow you to do it with somebody else. Like, nope, 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 nope. This ain't how this works. And I know a, a, another another time where I think it might be, you know, it's hard not, you know, it's hard just being friends with narcissists. But a lot of people I talk to are trying to be friends with their narcissistic ex that they have to co-parent with. You know what I mean? That they have to go out here and co-parent with and do things, do things like that with. You know what I mean? So I just like... Well, it's a lot easier if I pretend to be their friend. That way they won't, you know, try to turn the kids against me and things like that. That's why they, that way they won't hate me. I can see the benefit of faking a friendship there. But eventually they will get, oh, I feel like they will get old. And the narcissist will, they will get old to the narcissist the person too. Because they'll, again, they'll try to share, they'll try to, they'll typically try to overshare their successes and their progress with you to hurt you. Even though y'all not together, but y'all still friends, right? They should be able to share this stuff to you with you, right? But you can't, it's not, like I said, just like the relationship with the narcissist um, was an un, un, unequal relationship where you were giving more, you were giving more than you were receiving. The friendship is going to be the same exact way, y'all, because the, because the narcissist is going to be a narcissist in all aspects of their lives. Not just, the, not just boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or whatever. They're going to be a narcissistic, nor, a narcissistic friend. They're going to be a narcissistic parent, a narcissistic coworker, a narcissistic BFF, a narcissistic boss. Whatever narcissistic, whatever, insert, uh, what is that, a noun? Yeah, insert noun, narcissistic insert noun here. Because you, uh, this is just, they, they're going to be who they are in all aspects of their lives. And they're not going to care about how you feel about it. They're not going to care about, care about what, I mean, what you think about them or how, you know, how that makes you feel or you, the way you think. Like, it's the, you, it, with being a friend with that narcissist, you're going to put a lot more into it than you get out of it. So is it worth continuing in that in a lesser fashion than when you were, when you were actually in a relationship? Because you know you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you're going to put a lot more in and get a lot less out. Why are you going to do that in a friendship capacity? That's what I tell people. People in my comment section are like, do you think it's smart to remain friends with a narcissistic ex? He treated me terribly, but you know, I think, I, we just, I think it's just because we were dating. No, they're going to be a narcissist in all aspects of their lives. Go ahead and go. People go. People. I, I, see, I talk to so many people, and people. I see people go against me all the time. Go against the advice I give all the time. And a couple months later, I see. I get in my inbox. I should listen to you. I should listen to you. Like, yeah, you should have. Now you look who you are now. You set yourself back seven, eight months. That's seven, eight months on your healing journey. You set yourself back because you wanted to be their friend, and they used you and did the same exact thing. Like we were friends, and uh, because they'll, they'll use that friendship to keep you closer into their lives too. So when they when they go out. And they're treating the new supply better than they treat you. You might think that they've changed. So guess what? If him, if him or her, and the new new supply don't work, they might try to circle back to you. And guess what? Because you've been watching their relationship and watching them give the next person everything that you wanted for and asked for, and you think that they've changed, you'll get back with that person. And guess what? They haven't changed. It gets worse. They treat you worse the second time around. Sometimes it gets better for a little bit. The love bombing stage starts again. You may. But then it circles back to the badness and you realize why you broke up with them in the first place. So you had to break up with them again. You know what I mean? You're going you're gonna to lose that. You Not only are you going to break up with them in a relationship again, you're going to have to break up with them in a friendship again. Because why would you want to keep that person around that you've dated twice? Two relationships. You know, you kept that person around. Y'all have dated two relationships and broken up both times. And then you think your next person, then your next person, your, the next relationship you get into is going to want you being friends with your best friends or close friends with your ex. If you dated twice and it just didn't work out, but y'all decided, you know, you don't tell them the story. You're like, yeah, my ex-boyfriend is my best friend or whatever. Yeah, we tried it again. He got another relationship and I got another relationship and we just tried it again. So what's stopping you from trying it again now? That can be used, like I said, that's how narcissists keep you out of new relationships because they stay close because you have to tell that person unless you're going to go to your new relationship and lie. Oh, that's my ex right there. My ex is, just happens to be one of my good friends. Who wants to hear that? That's going to turn people off. I know y'all. some of y'all will be like, well, it won't turn off the strong ones and the right ones. Cool. You go find the strong one or the right one that's okay with you being really, really good friends with somebody you circle back to a couple times relationship-wise. Good luck with that one. 
And good luck to that person who decides to go ahead and put up with that with you too, because I know that's going to be a wild ride. But that narcissistic person, they're going to try to be best friends with them. I would. I will try to be best friends with your new boyfriend, new girlfriend, whoever you who, whoever you decide to bring around next. I'm going to try to be you know good friends around them. I'm going to do that to ensnare them. It's like I, see, I can see why you like them. And then they're going to trust me. And then it's just there's a lot of moving pieces, y'all. So no. In a, the, 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 to, to sum it all up, I do not recommend that you remain friends with a narcissistic ex unless it's to remain, keep safe, keep yourself safe until you can cut the friendship completely off. Or if it helps maintain some kind of co parenting leniency or whatever. But again, that's to hear this, you know, near and here and far in between. You know what I mean? It was y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode. I really, truly appreciate all the insight that y'all give me. I really, truly appreciate everybody that's sub, sub so far. 115,000 people on YouTube, 1.2 million on TikTok. We still climbing, y'all. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace. And to my pop.